New at six, more than 50 million people worldwide have epilepsy. For some, medication controls the onset of seizures, but others need major surgery. Sometimes laser ablation is the solution, but there have been no guidelines for doctors to determine how much ablation is just enough to be effective. Now, Ursula Perry reports neurosurgeons are getting closer to having the answers. Scott Garrick is an avid cyclist, but a recent epileptic seizure knocked him off his bike and onto a busy roadway. I had an auric rapidly changed to a seizure and I crashed the bike and ended up, you know, bloody on the face. After that, Scott stayed off his bike and in the house. At first, medications did work. He put me on it and poof, the auras. The seizures stopped. But the meds stopped working. Brain surgery was an option, but it's invasive with a long recovery. So instead, Scott and his doctor chose laser surgery. So During the procedure, his doctor used a tiny catheter to zap lesions thought to cause seizures and leave healthy tissue intact. The actual ablation, again, is only about three, four minutes total. Dr. Wu recently co-led a study designed to pinpoint the precise ablation spot in the brain to significantly reduce seizures. In the OR, he uses MRI guidance to insert the probe. Then it's just activating the probe to create the ablation, and that's done in the control room of the MRI scanner. Dr. Wu and his colleagues studied the MRI scans of 234 patients in the study and found when they ablated sections in the central part of the brain, patients had the best outcomes. What has the laser surgery meant to Scott? You know, I was back to what it was uh, you know, before the accident when you know, I could drive and bike and uh, do everything that I could do before. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.